H2O presents Bowling for Peace, the bowling edition. We are here at Yali and Siani. All right, so tell me a little bit about what you do. Dope. So my name is Siani, as she said. Um, I run a college prep organization all on the East Coast. Um, we work with kids to get them excited and prepared for college, partner with celebrities, brands, all of that, all in the name of helping kids. That's dope. So Yali, what do you do? I'm a chef. Stop playing. I'm a goat. Where the mic at? Where the camera? I'm a next goat. I rap and sing. I motivate. I inspire. I give back when I didn't have. I sacrifice. I suffer in silence. I'm getting too deep right now. Here go your mic. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what we like. We like it deep. Pause. No pause. Okay? All right. So, you guys, how important is it for us to have these charities, these type of events? Man, honestly, like, we all having fun out here, but the kids are getting benefited. As I said earlier, like, it's all about them and helping that next generation pull through. Um, and I'm just happy to see kids get toys this Christmas. So tell us a little bit about your background, your upbringing, and why a charity like this would be important to you. I mean, I come from nothing. I'm from Ohio. I moved here when I was 19, got a fake ID so I could turn my dream into reality. I ain't come here with family. So to see a lot of... Not only just people, but Afri African Americans upcoming and good energy come together and get along and laugh and joke. That means a lot to me because there's so much hate that they put a cap on love. If you show too much love, they call you this. If you show too much love, they call you that. But if you hate, that's cool. So us coming together and being real and showing each other love, that, that means a lot to me. What, are the biggest, what is one of the biggest things that you learned this year? Ooh, one of the biggest things I learned this year was that nothing is given to you. Um, and we're in New York City, so you know you got to, like, go hard for everything you want. And just because you don't see it at the beginning, like, keep pushing through. Keep pushing through. Keep God first in everything you do, man, and, and keep grinding. What about you? What is the question? What's one of the biggest things you learned this year? They pretend like they like me, and I act like I believe them. That's deep. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Wow. Get the views, get the support, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what's something that you have coming up? I know you do a lot for the you. So what, what? It's December. Christmas is coming up. So you have anything else going on? Yeah, so we just actually finished a clothing drive for the homeless. Um, we got, like, so many clothes. We've been passing it out. But this January coming up, we have a big event down in Atlanta. Um, I'm super excited about that. It's our semi-annual event, The Gathering, where we bring celebrities out. We bring workshops, colleges, vendors. Um, and get the kids prepared for college, helping them find their purpose. Dope. So let's get into the music. What musically do you have coming up? What do you have? What do you have out? Record today. You know, I drop a record every two weeks with a visual. I can't tell them that. They're trying to figure out where it is. See, I rap and I sing, so I got two different fan bases. So I got to feed two different fan bases. But I just dropped a record called Hollywood, and they already playing it back home on the radio back home. It's just too DJ friendly. Basically, act Hollywood, not Hollywood. You you got to check it out. It's a banger. It's a banger. Also, right, what's, what's one thing that keeps you focused and centered with all of the noise around you? Say that one more time. What's something that keeps you focused and centered with all of this noise going on around you? What keeps me focused? Yes. What keeps me focused? Because a lot of people take life for granted. If God give you a gift, your gift back to God is using that gift. So... That's what keep me focused. Like, it's a lot of people that would die just to come in here to bowl with us. Believe it or not. So, I inspire a lot of, like, I got a lot of fans in Africa and a lot of places. So, uh, I do it, you know, I do it for them. I do it for my family, you know. Well, I aspire to have Yali under my IG because you're not lit unless he comments underneath your picture. <laughs> You did not make it! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she had... She was like, oh, she ain't got like, <laughs> Alright, so tell them, tell them where to find you. Dope. So you can find me at Siani Jessica on all platforms. That's S-I-A and N I. Stand the name Jessica. Um, That's me. So, where can we find you? You just catch me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> You can catch me on Instagram at Yali, Y-A-L-E-E. -E. Verify don't mean nothing. Listen, I got that positivity. I don't act like I got a blue check, though. I respond to a lot of kids that feel like killing themselves, and they be like, I listen to your music. I got discharged from the Army. Some girls say I got discharged from the Army. I felt suicidal. 
I listen to your your recent music and it and it put me in a better place. So it's bigger than music. You feel me? That's the easy part. That's dope. So we got some more coming up. Make sure y'all stay tuned.